before the day of your child's dental procedure under general anesthesia. You'll need to make some plans and follow some important rules. Arrange for a ride home for you and your child so that you can give your child your full attention during the ride home from the procedure. You and your child will not be able to take public transportation home after general anesthesia. If your child develops symptoms of illness, such as fever, cough, stuffy nose, vomiting, diarrhea, or has a positive test for COVID or the flu within 48 hours before your child's procedure, please call your child's dentist. The anesthesiologist will determine if your child's appointment needs to be rescheduled. It is very important for your child to have an empty stomach when given general anesthesia. This lowers the risk they will aspirate, a dangerous event where your child's stomach contents gets into and can damage their lungs. If your child's check-in time is 6.30 a.m. or earlier, they should not eat or drink after midnight. This includes candy or chewing gum. If your check-in time is after 6.30 a.m., they should not eat after midnight and should only drink clear liquids like apple juice, water, Pedialyte, or Sprite for up to two hours before check-in time. A clear liquid is one where you completely see through the liquid. Your child's surgery may have to be rescheduled if they have something to eat or non-clear fluids to drink within eight hours of check-in time, or if they have clear fluids to drink within two hours of check-in time. On the day of the procedure, please plan to be at the hospital for most of the day. A parent or legal guardian must come and be present for the duration of the procedure. Please dress your child in comfortable, loose-fitting clothing. If your child wears diapers or pull-ups, make sure they're fresh and bring extras. Do not bring other children with you. Your child receiving treatment needs your full attention. A nurse will take you and your child to the pre-surgery area for their medical history and physical. The anesthesia staff and your child's dentist will talk over general anesthesia, your child's treatment plan, and obtain your consent. Your child may receive medication before the procedure to help them relax. They may act a little silly as the medication starts to work. Once the dental care team is ready to begin, a nurse will take your child to the procedure room. The anesthesiologist will usually have your child breathe through a mask to administer the medication that provides the deep sleep. Your child will receive an intravenous line, or IV, for giving additional medications and liquids to keep your child comfortable and hydrated. The anesthesiologist will place a breathing tube in your child's nose or mouth that extends to their airway to help them breathe and protect their lungs while in a deep sleep. The care team will attach monitors to check your child's heart rate, blood pressure, and other important vital signs. Your child's dentist, anesthesiologist, nurses, and residents will be in the room and constantly be monitoring your child during the procedure. You will be called or texted with progress updates. Your child will be taken to the recovery area to wake up, which may take several hours. Once your child has started to awaken, they will be offered clear liquids. A nurse will bring you to the recovery area and your child's care team will discuss the completed procedure with you. After your child is awake and comfortable enough to leave the hospital, you will be discharged home. Have your child get plenty of rest, drink plenty of fluids, and carefully follow your dentist's post-procedure care instructions over the next few days. For more information or to answer any questions, call the Children's Hospital Colorado Dental Clinic.